This is a preparation to show you a working tricuspid valve. So here you find a large anterior tricuspid valve which is actually seen um, to your left, the septal leaflet which is seen towards your right and the posterior leaflet is seen here um, above. So these are the three leaflets. You can see the area of the coaptation and uh, when it's open you can find, you can see the um, tensor apparatus through the open tricuspid leaflet. Now we have a look at the specimen and as I told you we have opened it out thus. The tricuspid valve as it is seen from the right atrium. So when you look at the tricuspid valve like this, this is the septal part. So this would be the septal leaflet. This is the large anterior sail like leaflet and that there would be the posterior leaflet. So this is what the tricuspid valve look like, looks like from this side. Okay. So that there is the tricuspid valve. That is the anterior tricuspid leaflet which is supported by the anterior papillary muscle. So this comes off the moderator band which is a continuation of the septomarginal trabecular. So the septomarginal trabecular comes down as the moderator band and gives off the anterior papillary muscle which supports the large tricuspid leaflet. The septomarginal trabecular divides into an anterior limb which which supports the pulmonary valve and a posterior limb and at the junction with the posterior limb you have the medial papillary muscle or the muscle of Lancisi. So this muscle supports the anteroseptal commissure here and this marks the area where the bundle goes. Okay, This here is the septomarginal trabecular and the posterior limb and the at the junction with the posterior limb comes off the medial papillary muscle. This is called the muscle of Lancisi or the muscle of Lushka and this gives off cordae to support the antero-superior antero-septal commissure. 